Recently, a video of a stunning lady in a pink dress and a middle-aged man in a matching color T-shirt strolling intimately hand in hand in Taiku Li, Chengdu in Sichuan, has gone viral. The video has not only swept across Chinese social media, but it has also been reported by multiple international media outlets from countries such as Singapore, UK, and US. The identities of the couple were later revealed by netizens to be Hu Jiyong, the general manager of China Petroleum's global engineering project management company, and his subordinate Dong Sijing. Following the exposure of the event, both parties were dismissed from their positions. The hand-holding incident occurred on June 7, 2023, when Hu Jiyon, a leader of a state-owned oil enterprise, took a business trip as an excuse to take a leisurely walk hand-in-hand with his female subordinate. They were beaming with joy, reveling in their private world. Due to Don's eye-catching appearance and attire, the scene was captured by a photographer and uploaded to the internet sparking sustained attention and unintentionally exposing their affair. Netizens found that Dong Sijing often flaunted her wealth on social media. From the photos she regularly shared, one could see her frequent travels, stays at luxury hotels and consumption of various luxury brands. Many of her photos, dressed in seductive lingerie and posing provocatively, not only showcased her extravagant lifestyle, but also highlighted her flamboyant side. The handbag that Dong Sijing was seen carrying in the video was suspected to be a Lady Dior bag, a limited edition from 2021. The bag was priced at 44,000 RMB, about 6,500 USD, on the official website at the time and the current purchasing price ranges between 39,000 and 44,000 RMB, around 5,500 to 6,500 USD. Not only did Dong Sijing flaunt a huge Tiffany diamond ring and a full set of emerald jewellery on Weibo, she also bragged about staying in luxury hotels that cost tens of thousands of RMB per night. Additionally, she subtly hinted at her clandestine affair stating, Can't show off love on May 20th, so let's do a post of my bills worth 430,000 RMB from the past five months, she added. Love may not always be happy, but spending 80 to 90,000 a month does bring joy. For those who are wondering, May 20th is a date that actually has the same sounds as I love you in Chinese. Some observant netizens noticed a key point. Before knowing Hu Jingyong, she mostly posted about her physique, food and travel. Shortly after they met, she began to flaunt luxury goods, spending up to 2.4 million RMB on global high-end fashion alone. Moreover, Dong Sijing also purchased a luxury residence, the extraordinary opulence of its decor and a meticulous attention to detail indicating her exceptional financial prowess. According to leaked information, Dong Sijing, born in 1996, is an alumna of a prestigious university and has studied abroad. Her personal resume is also exceptional. She completed her bachelor's and master's degrees consecutively at China University of Petroleum, actively participated in society events during her university years, joined the Beijing branch of China Petroleum after graduation and became colleagues with Hu Jingyong in 2022. Following the hand-holding incident, Dong Sijing shut down her Weibo account. However, the photos and posts she had previously shared were still archived by netizens and spread across the internet. The situation has raised questions about the source of their income and their living expenses, How exactly do they maintain such a high level of consumption? According to disclosed information, Hu Jiyong, born in 1969, has served in China Petroleum all his career. In 2016, he became the general manager and legal representative of Global Engineering Project Management Beijing Co. Ltd. Data from Tianya Cha shows that Global Engineering Project Management Beijing Co Limited, established in 1995 and is a member of the China National Petroleum Corporation. 
The company based in Beijing primarily offers professional technical services and has a registered capital of 30 million RMB. Hu Juyong's leadership career came to a sudden halt because of the hand-holding incident. As announced by Global Engineering Project Management Company on June the 7th, Hu Juyong has been removed from the positions of Executive Director, Party Secretary and General Manager of Global Engineering Project Management Company and is under investigation by the company's disciplinary committee. On June the 8th, the company confirmed that the female party involved was staff member Dong Sijing, who was also dismissed and put under investigation. The phrase Dong Sijing was suspended garnered nearly 1 billion views in less than a day, effectively making it known to all. After the video course and sensation, the photographer received threats and deleted the video to keep the peace. However, in this era of highly developed new media, the video has already been widely circulated on the internet, sparking heated discussions. One netizen sarcastically commented, he dodged his wife and the company, but he couldn't dodge the street photographer. This photographer did a public service. A WeChat user commented, instead of focusing on the salacious details, we should continuously question the underlying issue of corruption, did Mr. Hu's extramarital affair involve power sex trades, sexual bribery or other ugly acts damaging collective interests? The worst part of this incident is its assault on societal values. At a time when the entire nation is striving together, Don's flashy jury or her arrogant disregard for the working class are like a slap in the face to ordinary people. Some netizens have commented that seeing Miss Don's ostentatious displays on social media helps explain why many young people aspire to work within the system and why they treat passing the civil service exam as a life-changing event, referring to it as going ashore. The benefits of working within the system are indeed attractive. Clocking out at 4.30pm alone could lure countless wage earners in addition to the job security. Not long ago, the National Bureau of Statistics released the unemployment rate data for urban areas. In April this year, the unemployment rate for those aged 16 to 24 reached a record high of 20.4%, the highest since such statistics were available in 2018. Against the backdrop of record numbers of college graduates, the high rate of youth unemployment is already challenging enough for us. Leaders, please be discreet and refrain from agitating the already anxious masses, were one of many comments. In China, it is not uncommon for some women, either proactively or passively, to seek the embrace of power, exchanging their beauty for various sources of power and money. But few people ponder why. Within the CCP system, women have to sleep their way to the top. Why are there so many sex scandals within the CCP system? Recently, Chinese netizens selected photos of the four beauties of the new era of the CCP. In addition to Dong Sijing, they are policewoman Zhang Jingyu, Dai Lu, Deputy Director of the Yangzhou Guangling District Business Bureau, and Wu Fangyuan, Female Director of the Communist Youth League Committee of Anhui Province. The sex scandals involving these four beauties are widely circulated on China's internet. The one that caused a sensation at the beginning of this year was Dai Lu, the beautiful deputy director of Guangling District Business Bureau in Yangzhou, Jiangsu. Rumour has it that Dai Lu was caught in an extramarital affair with another male official in a bridal suite, captured on camera installed by her husband who reported the incident to the disciplinary committee. This caused an uproar. Under public pressure, the authorities announced that both Dai Lu and Wei Feng, the deputy mayor of Huai'an City, with whom Dai Lu was having the affair, had issues with their personal conduct. Procedures are underway to hold them accountable for their actions, with recommendations for dismissal. Later, it was revealed that Dai Lu had named 24 CCP officials, allegedly also endangering the position of Han Hua, the deputy secretary of the Yangzhou Municipal Party Committee. Dai Lu, now 30, has had a remarkable career. At 19, she passed the civil service exam and started as a junior clerk in the county prosecutor's office. In 2021, she was promoted to deputy director of the business bureau at the age of 28. 
After the scandal involving Dai Lu caused quite a stir, it was rumored that she wrote a confession stating. In my work, some people say I am a despicable person who has sought promotion by selling my looks. If I had a sufficient background, would I need to do this? I also pursue lofty and true virtue. But apart from this good-looking appearance, what other resources do I have that I can utilize? Zhang Jingyu, known as the most beautiful policewoman, was embroiled in a sex tape scandal last July that went viral. The man involved was He Lu, a senior executive of the new energy company Li Nor Paradigma. From the photos of Zhang Jingyu that surfaced online, both her looks and figure are exceptionally stunning. Wearing a police uniform, she is a sight to behold. Zhang Jingyu was a journalist for the China Police Network and graduated from Yangzhou University with a major in journalism. Netizens hail her as the most beautiful woman in public service. Endowed with both talent and beauty, however, it was shocking to see such an impeccable, elegant woman in such a compromising position in the explicit video released by He Lu. Wu Fangyuan, the female director of the Communist Youth League Committee of Anhui Province, admitted in November of last year that she had been involved with at least eleven men, all of whom were named. Netizens have discovered that these lovers were officials in Wu's department or even senior bosses related to her work. Wu Fangyuan also announced her resignation in screenshots of the conversation. From Miss Wu's personal photos, she remains graceful and attractive in her early thirties, with a decent figure, and she enjoys photography or taking selfies. These are the four most sensational sex scandals in the CCP officialdom in the past year. These young women have been accused of being gold diggers. Some people also believe that these women have stolen their fair opportunities, or they ridicule and mock them out of jealousy for being able to shortcut their way to the top. It seems that these women have become scapegoats for venting frustrations. However, many discussions fail to realize who is the real culprit behind this phenomenon. The root cause of officials keeping mistresses is power abuse. The misuse of power and corrupt wealth provides them with the means to do as they please. Without power, no one will be able to afford a mistress. From the perspective of female subordinates, they are simply seeing the benefits brought about by aligning with powerful leaders. If not for the extreme worship of power, few women will be willing to become mistresses. Under the authoritarian system of the CCP. Even talented women without a strong background have to resort to selling their bodies and souls to advance their careers. Of course, this is not to say that such women are completely wronged or innocent. After all, they have made their own choices. However, compared to those self-righteous CCP officials, they are merely victims in a different form. Wang Chaohua, a female student leader of the Tiananmen Square protests, recently told Radio Free Asia that within the CCP political system, women are reduced to mere showpieces and become sacrifices in the struggles of the powerful. She said, "In the economic reforms of the last two or three decades, the bureaucracy is essentially made up of elites who hold both power and money." When cracking down on corruption and black market dealings, it is often revealed how many mistresses a certain official has. Women become providers of sexual services in political struggles, not just in a government but also in large companies. This has become a commonplace and publicly accepted situation. This is a very unfriendly social reality for women. By choosing to dance with the wolves. The new four beauties have also signaled that they cannot escape from the clutches of the CCP officials. In the end, they too become the subjects of public scorn.